element. See, it's fuck with, I'm trying to, nigga, I do music. You feel me? I'm like an artist, man. Like, where I'm from is where I'm from. Like, everybody else represent what they from. Like, you, like I'm going to represent where I'm from, but nigga, I'm trying to really, like, I got a song with the nigga Lil 100 from Great Blue. You feel me? Like, I'm like, on the nigga on some business shit. Like, I see the bigger picture. Like, I know a nigga since I'm from my hood. Like, a lot of niggas don't really want to fuck with it. You feel me? Or they, I, I'm like, I had, I, I figured that. But it's like, I'm not scared to take that next step. Definitely. You know, I ain't scared to take the next step. That's nigga with niggas and that's what, and that's what nigga, shit. Nigga, that's what nigga gotta get do. paid. A nigga got a, a nigga, there you go. A nigga got to because you got the music. You got the music and what else you got? You got the talent. See, some niggas got music, but they don't got talent. You really is talented and quick. Like, you probably don't even see it. It'll probably take you a while to understand you really got the talent. Now it's about building a team around you. It's about building a team where it's saying, where everybody understand, nigga, you, it's the star. And everybody else need to play their role to contribute to the team of the star. Because everybody else will know how to piggyback of, piggy, piggyback of you. If he a producer, he know the engineer, he got stuff, he a cameraman, and, and he, let's say he know the AR, everybody, if everybody play their role and their position, you shouldn't lose because you got the talent. And then everybody else can piggyback off you. We got other niggas that know how to rap and all that stuff. You got, you got it, bro. Nigga, I'm going to tell you, door. I'm going to tell you straight out, you got it. The thing about it is now, is this, 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 make a long story short to cut through the bullshit. Shit about it now is, I got a lot of resources. This nigga got a lot of resources. This nigga got a lot of resources. He probably got a lot of resources. But the thing in your head, you got to think, what if nobody got no resources? You got to look in there, nobody got no resources, but niggas got to make our own movement. Whereas a nigga could go, slide this, man, check this nigga out. Oh, who is he? Oh, shit, nigga, you see we already got a million views on this. Nigga, we had three million views on this. Oh, shit, nigga got numbers already. It's called a number game. A nigga don't got to do too much of convincing a nigga to fuck with you compared to a nigga saying, nigga, we got a movement. Everybody see you know who this nigga is. That's, that's crazy, though. A nigga got a movement, too, going on. Nigga got to just shoot the, nigga gotta just shoot videos. If I shoot a ganga... I'm gonna, give, shit I'm gonna give you the best game that you was doing, and I don't know why you stopped. Them high school tours. That shit, cause uh, nigga, it's school over. No, no, no. Summer, Summer school. school. All Summer right now, it's the whole shit. You need to be at these pool parties. You need to be at these beach bashes. You need to be at everything to make you visual. A nigga need to pull up cameraman, producer, AR, match a team, and and and, and merch. Simple. Simple. Every nigga out of that I can say that nigga out of got behind him blew up or I don't even do name dropping and shit, but that's the basics of it. A movement. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's simple, a movement. See a nigga ain't got none of that. Nigga need all that. Don't worry, that's the whole else. shit. Don't worry about it. We're gonna put it together. The thing of it is, truthfully, it's mid summer. Like I said, we got the beach event, we, we, we got the pool party on the twenty fourth, we got the no breaks fourth line your beach event. But with not even just counting that. What we need to start doing with you is is, is make all these kids, while that supercharge is still going in rotation, make all these kids rally and vote for what school you should hit next. Or if you want me at lock, you need to do this. Go vote. Go go hashtag supercharge. If you want me at Woo Woo, go do this. And by this time, the kids, let's say for example, we get we do we do the first one just fucking we pick a school. But then when we go there, we go there and we, we make it look big. The cameramans, everybody coming. Nigga hop out like a celebrity, get one of the cars, get one of the businesses, pull up, bump or whatever, whatever the situation. Then we post that. If you want us at your school, if you want if, if you want Kimo Shea at your school, supercharged Wooty Whoopie, you want Wooty we can have other guests, A V or whoever, just other little local artists to come with you on it, then we doing it's called a real high school tour. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then how you take you take from that is because why I say high school tours because if you could get a kid to sing your song they're gonna get their mama they dad cause they, oh play this play this my daughter she only eleven and my other daughter only nine they be putting me on music daddy have you heard of Wooty Woop or have you and I'll be like God damn I ain't even heard of them it's the kids it's just like for example nigga I'm thirty. How the fuck I know Michael Jackson songs? Do you know why? Because my mom and them came up. Michael Jackson, that was the, he was the man. And by the time they got grown, my mom and them was still playing their song. And now I know all Michael Jackson songs to my mom and them. Right. Same shit. If you get the kids, you got a generation of wealth. Mm -hmm. A generation of wealth. So you start from the bottom to get to the top. You get to the kids. We're worried about the older high school kids and all that. They stuck in their ways. We want these kids to transfer to parents and to the whole music scene. You kind of get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That's why you do a high school tour. Then you take it out from a high school tour. You get that buzz. 
See, a lot of motherfuckers worry about shows, worry about all that shit. I'm against I'm against the chilling circuit. And what I mean by chilling circuit is most when I used to throw parties, most motherfuckers, oh come get a slot, come pay woo woo. You paying to be seen. The game is to, for a nigga to pay you to be exactly, seen. Exactly, my nigga. That's why I ain't been doing none of that shit. That's why people are like, why you ain't doing so because nigga, I want them to you got, like you gotta want you feel me? I'm trying to get paid, I'm not trying to go and pay for a nigga to publicity. That don't even sound right. You feel me? For, I'm a, I feel like I'm getting work. You feel me? Like right. Fuck, like, nigga, I ain't about to go. Then you selling tickets, you selling all that shit. So the thing, if you ain't throwing your own shows, giving your own parties and all that shit, all that is is the shit rap. So what I'm telling you is like, nigga, you got the talent. Now this time, nigga, you in the hole, straight out. Now if you was from Bonnie Hunters, from Six Soul, if you was somewhere where the limelight is, it's easy. Because they already got the the niggas there. Even right now, if you was from Park Village, if, 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 if you were yeah. Roddy uh, under them, just like Asia, she getting a, she could piggyback off Roddy. Uh. You from PJs right now? It's like Nobody nigga, we Roddy. gotta dig dig you out the hole. It ain't no way around that. You gotta get what I'm saying. Hell now, yeah. nigga, know your music, but a nigga a play nah, I don't fuck that nigga because niggas is hater. But it's just like this. You ever heard a song you don't like? Mm-hmm. You heard a song you don't like, and then three weeks later you like. Oh, Turn that shit up. You know why? Because they force fed it to you. Mm-hmm. You heard it so much on the radio. They played it so much. Now you turn that shit down. But last week, I didn't even like this motherfucking song. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to do. We got to force feed they force feed it to their ass. Mm-hmm. Nigga, if they from gangsters, if they from hustlers, if they this crib, if they the essays, they whatever. If a nigga say he around you and he your nigga and he ain't promoting you, you don't need to be around you. Mm-hmm. Every nigga you see with me right now, guess what? We on the same page. He run this store. This nigga run the, the footage and the visuals and all that shit. My YouTube channel nigga. My other niggas at my smoke shop run that. We all, when it's time to come together, it's come together. If a nigga, if around me ain't trying to contribute, I don't need him around me, bro. Because after a while, nigga gonna start breeding envy. Who oh, this nigga think he uh, He think he better. He blowing up. Ah, oh, fuck that nigga. God damn, my nigga, we in the same boat. I'm trying. Why you wanna hate on me when I'm trying? And you're going to get that. Listen to me. You're going to get that if you ain't already getting it because you're getting a buzz. Hell yeah. Niggas going to hang on. So if a nigga, if you see, if you tell a nigga, nigga, I need everybody around me at least to push my song three three to four times out the week. And you look on niggas' page and they don't got you up there, don't fuck with them. Get that. Get that money, man.